the first thing I want to say, so everyone understands, is that volcanoes are very cool. They really are. A fact that many people uh, on Earth don't know is that most of the volcanic activity on the planet happens in the oceans, not on land. So this expedition is looking at a group of submarine volcanoes. They're in the northern part of the Kingdom of Tonga. And what's interesting about these volcanoes is that uh, they're unusually active, they're small, and they're really close together. And the objective that we have on this expedition is to understand how these volcanoes formed, when they formed, did they form in sequence or at the same time, how does the way that they formed affect the type of hydrothermal circulation they have at them, and the types of organisms that live at the hydrothermal vents. As a package, we want to understand the volcanoes as a group. And no one's really done this before in an area in the submarine setting. I was super lucky. So I was uh, invited to join actually a very the same group of people for a water column cruise. So at the beginning it was kind kind of boring. We were always measuring these really low amounts of concentrations. Well, there's lots of volcanoes and there's lots of bumps in the ocean. Which ones are active? And then boom. One day we had like crazy um, anomalies on the CTD screen and then also in our measurement. And I predicted that we'd see a submarine eruption based on water column data. And everyone looked at me like, it better be. <laughs>really explosive eruptions going on at the seafloor, which, which still is the most exciting I've seen since, and it's almost 10 years now, but yeah, I'm still excited. We have basically two things here that we are deploying to the seafloor, so one is the CTD to figure out if there are some um, specific uh, chemical anomalies in the water column from volcanic eruptions at the seafloor. Then we also have the Sentry AUV here, that's right behind me right now. And the Sentry, when it goes down in the water, it's bringing us up very detailed map, maps from the seafloor. The two active eruptions that we've actually managed to visit on the seafloor are because we've got these clues from our CTD work and from our multi-beam mapping. Well, I, just, I will say uh, straight out that I hope we see an eruption. It's very exciting. The last time we were here and we saw an eruption was the most exciting expedition of my life and I've been on more than 30 research expeditions. And I will tell you that every person on the ship was excited.